Let's go over our PDF printer settings. Uh, so let's go to devices and printers. You'll notice there's a Adobe PDF. Scroll up at the top, you see nothing in ribbon bar. Um, first thing you, that you're going to do is, uh, first of all, let me let me just mention the fact that when you set these the printer settings, this is based on the person that's logged in. So if you change the Adobe PDF settings to till it works with the press and someone else logs in then they're going to have to make these same adjustments so uh, just keep that in mind so we're going to right click on Adobe PDF go to printer preferences right there we're going to change these uh, default settings and these settings you're going to get from the press we each press is a little bit different and you'll have to find out from the press what settings to use. Um, a good jumping off point would be probably go to the PDF 2005 CMYK standard because you're sending everything to CMYK and then you can edit and save that as the publication name or the press name whatever um, and that should get you pretty close to where you need to be and then you can just choose that in your settings um, for now I'm just going to choose the CMYK uh, under the PDF security you don't need that under the location um, you can browse to the location that you want it to go to whether that's on the server yeah, you know, I mean, whatever, whatever folder that you wanna wanna put it on, and you, you can put this on a. Well, this thing it's gonna take forever to do that, but anyways, this destination you set wherever you want to the PDFs to be. The PDF page size. This you're going to choose a CTBG new and that should always be CTBG new is going to be the same size as the PDF settings or the paper size settings in your photo layout program or layout program uh, now view PDF if you want to view the PDFs as they are being produced then you leave that checked. If you want to have somebody else do them or you want to come back and do them yourself later on, then just uncheck that. Uh, document information doesn't really matter. Uh, the one that is is extremely important and what you're going to do is make sure that rely on system fonts only do not use document fonts uncheck that if this is checked then it does not embed the fonts and we want to make sure the fonts are embedded so that you don't get a call from the press and say where are my fonts uh, delete the, fo the log files for successful jobs yes ask to replace no and that will get your settings that you need. Um, if you needed to change a size, like create a new form, then that's that's easy enough done. I mean, for example, if you wanted to create a new form that was uh, 10.375 by 12.75, you would just highlight this printer and then go up to print server properties and you create a new form I'm just going to call that CTBG and again 10.375's and you'll have to round that off 38 by 12.75 and we would save that 
Matter of fact, I'm going to add a little tick sign on the top left hand side near the escape that will throw that up to the top of the list and close. So if we go in here and we wanted to choose that under the preferences, we could choose CDBG, click OK, and now that, that would be the size of the paper when it creates a PDF. And that's, uh, you shouldn't have any problems if you do that, just again, it's going to have to be done for each user it gets logged into the machine.